Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Hello, hello. <clears throat> hello. Good evening. Good evening. Sure. Good evening. How are you? Uh, we're going to wait a couple of minutes for the other students oh. to come in, okay? We okay. have three more minutes. Okay, bye bye. I'm happy. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. How do you feel today? You? Very good. Very good. I am ready. I feel good. <laughs> ready for action. Yeah. And how was your, how was your day? Ah. Uh, um, my day was a little tired. Mm -hmm. A lot of work. Yes. Hard. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Excellent. That's good. A lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Well, uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being in class on time. Thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and get started. I would like for us to first refresh and Arts one, rush to my. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like for you to tell me what uh, vocabulary or phrases do you remember from yesterday's class? What vocabulary, what topics, uh, what were some uh, words? or structures that you remember. Can I have a volunteer, please? I remember the topic about simple past, yes or no question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you give me an example of a simple past, yes, no question? Can you give me an example? Um, for example, did you go to the gym? Very good. Did you go to the gym today? Yes, I did. Excellent. Did you play football, soccer? Did you play soccer? Very good. Mm -hmm. Hello, DJ. Hello, Carlos. Welcome. 
Um, does somebody else have a, another example of the information that we were practicing yesterday? Another example? What about the vocabulary? Do you remember the vocabulary about hiking or summer activity? Escalar. That's right. Hi escalar. Uh -huh, correct. Escalar, hiking. What's uh, something else that you remember from yesterday's class? Another vocabulary word or another phrase or something like that? What do you uh, remember? We practice, we practice the conversation. Did you like it? Did you like it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. And what about the summer activities? Hiking, have a picnic. Hey, Carlos, nice tie. Wow, look guys, new teacher. Hey, Carlos, I see you with the tie, looking good, looking good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, good job. Uh, Roberto, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What topics, what vocabulary? Well, a movie. I do remember. Watch a movie. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, word power. The word, word power. Word power. For example, what do you remember from the word power activity? Okay. I like to play tennis, for example. And I like to uh, play volleyball. I like uh, to play tennis. I like to play yeah. volleyball. Yes. Okay. I like a movie or I like to see a play. I like to watch movies. I like to see a play. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. Um, at this moment, does anybody have questions referring to vocabulary, pronunciation, um, verb, grammar structures, anything, anything that you, that you remember that you want to, that you want to ask me? <clears throat> hmm? Yo tal vez solo mencionar lo de los, digamos, la, el sonido y, y... La pronunciación de los verbos, siento que tal vez algunos y otros se nos olvidan. Ok. Pero creo um, que es cuestión de práctica. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sí. Eh, remember that when you see a verb, cuando tú veas un verbo, eh, tú tienes que hacer una foto mental. Por ejemplo, si tú dices hiking, tú te imaginas tú vestido como que si estás hiking en Montecristo, for example. O tú escuchas el verbo, eh, digamos, swimming, y te imaginas en una okay. piscina, en un gym. O tú dices, por ejemplo, eh, uh, un verbo del trabajo. Eh, digamos, estás en una reunión, eh, presenting, presenting, y te imaginas que estás en una oficina con tus compañeros de trabajo, dando una presentación, un tema, right? So, verbs, cuando te aprendas verbs, eh, no lo hagas así como antes lo hacían los abuelitos, que te daban mil verbos, Simple present, simple past, past participle, present continuous. Y ahí estaba el alumno memorizando. Speak, spoke, spoken. Read, run, ran. <laughs> and you're like, man, what, what is the purpose? What is the objective no of this? No funciona eso. Right? Por eso, cuando estás aprendiendo verbos, apréndelos contextualmente. Right. Por ejemplo, okay. ahorita estamos viendo verbos que son de actividades del verano. Summertime. Right. right. So tú dices, hmm, ok, ¿qué estamos haciendo acá? Summertime activities. O cooking activities. O working activities. O home activities. 
y allí tú ya vas haciendo un, una memoria de verbos, pero con acción. Ya la estás relacionando. Ok, estos verbos son de summer activities, actividades del verano. Ok. Uh -huh. Y así se te va a facilitar un poquito más. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ok, guys. Um, any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? Anybody? No, teacher. Nobody? OK. All right. Now, what we're going to do is move forward to the next activity. And we're going to do a reading practice. For the reading practice activity, I want you to see by the end of this class, you will develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. Al final de esta clase, Ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para las ideas principales y los detalles. <clears throat> Weekend stories. Weekend stories. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Do you want me to repeat the audio? Or do you have any questions? Do you want Repeat me? Repeat the audio. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's repeat the audio one more time. Put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. Awful week. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. 
I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay, now what I would like for you to do is I want you to ask me questions about the pronunciation or the meaning of the words. I would like for you to ask me about the pronunciation or the meaning of the words. Karen Mulato. Eh, what is boil? What is boil in Aiden? In a phrase in the paragraph of Aiden. Oh, um, built. Then we built a fire. Uh -huh. Después hicimos una fogata. Then we built a fire. Pero la palabra build en eh, sí es fogata. Eh, no, fogata es fire, built oh. es eh, construir o hacer o formar o ajá, construir oh. o hacer. What Another... is company? What is? Company. Uh, camping. I went camping. Ah, fuimos a acampar. Okay. Camping. Mm -hmm. Another question? What is pronunciation in I had an awful weekend? Awful. 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 I had a question. Yes? What's the meaning of wedding? For wedding. Wedding. Ah, About wedding. Eh, tan, tan, taran. Tan, tan, taran. Tan, tan, taran. Tan, taran, tan, taran. Do you know what that is? That's a wedding. Boda. That's a boda. Ah, okay. The pronunciation of the... Del verbo look, looked es con T o con D? Looked, looked con T, looked. Sí. Like, ajá, porque la palabra look termina en unvoiced. Look, oh. look es unvoiced. So la pronunciación es t, looked. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Mm -hmm. Another question, guys. Sería lo mismo con... Cook, ¿verdad, teacher? Cook. 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 Talk. Talk. Walk. Walk. Hey. The new teacher. All right. Now I would like for everybody to practice reading the text in pairs. Practice reading the text in pairs. Do you understand? ¿Qué va a ser? Yes, teacher. Practice yes. reading the text in pairs. Primero lo va a leer un alumno y se van a turnar and vice versa. Five times. The more you practice your pronunciation. Five, five times. Five times. Repetition, 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 repetition. 
the more you practice, the more you repeat, the more you pronounce, the more you speak, the more you talk, the more you learn words, the more you familiarize vocabulary, the more you are going to increase fluency. I had a great week. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Take a picture or a conversation. Okay. Yes, sir. Right now. Okay, done. And I'm going to send it to the group right now. Give me a second. Okay. Right here. Imágenes. Capturas. All right, there it is. There it is. Okay, you got it. You got it. So <laughs> woo, woo, woo. All right, you ready? Yes, teacher, we are ready. Is that, I said, is everybody ready? I said, ready. is everybody ready? I'm ready. I'm are ready, you ready teacher. for action yes. like Jesse Jackson? Okay. Long and strong to the break of dawn. Let's get it on. All right, let's go. So I see um, Rosa Vasquez is uh, with working with Rosa is with Herson. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rose. Okay, Rosa, you want to work by yourself? Hello, Rosa. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Andrea Mejia. Hello, Andrea. Revisa si querés y luego vamos a practicar. Ok. El... ¿En qué número aparece ahí? Que no es el 2.15 en la plataforma. Okay. ¿2.15? Sí. Sorry, es 2.16. 2.16, okay. Sí, está en... Ahí está la imagen en el WhatsApp group. Ok. I call my parent and they can uh, go, go, go do. We finally got home. Y... Sí. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy. Terrible time. It took her hours to the drive there. I didn't like the music at all. Three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our our crocus our car our, our car broke down i call it 
No, I called my okay. parents and they come and got, got to me. My left hand on Saturday and dropped to the camp, camp day. Pierce, we part of the tent. Then we, then we will. After I had a terrible, terrible um tie. It it look. It took. It it took. It took. It took, it took three how to dry there. I, I didn't like the music at eight and the after. Oh. oh. Oh, and the after the concert, 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 or car break it down, I called my parents and and they can and go use it. We finally go home. Ten that this morning I am too tired. Okay. I had, a, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me, we left on Saturday, and drove the, camp, the campsite first. We put we put uh we put the rent, then we built a fire, cook dinner and told the stars. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I crow, I cow, I no sé cómo pronunciar esa, creo que es go. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Yeah. Kelly. Okay, Kelly, I have what a weekend. I went to my friend Helen Wien to go Morris and home. I heard friend and I have a poco. Yo la siento difícil, Eri. Sí. I have I have an interesting walk weekend. I went camping for the first my friend took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the camp state. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and took story. We got carriers on Saturday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned it a lot. Early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. I Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping with for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, first we put up the, the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We were up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. but yeah. I. But I learned a lot. Learned a lot. Uh -huh. Yes. Empieza usted con qué? Yes. Camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on on Saturday and drove to the camp. Okay. <clears throat> and I have interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friend took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, 
we put we put up the tent. Drop down. They come and go us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Terrible. Ty, it terrible. Took, terrible. Terrible. Ty, it took yep. the hour to drive that I didn't like the music at all. And the after the concert set or car broken down, down I cry my panic and they came and go use. We finally go home. I tell this this morning I am to try to tie it. Tired. So mm -hmm. tired. Okay, Erin. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the rent of the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner and told history. We got up we got up early on Sunday and went fish, fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Seguimos o esperamos. Yes, todavía puede. Lea lo de Kelly. Okay. Ah, ya no. Okay, guys. Um, now, what you are going to do, eh, lo que ustedes vamos a hacer en este momento, eh, you are going to invent you are going to invent a similar text describing your last weekend vas a escribir un texto similar a uno de estos describiendo tu fin de semana pasado Do you understand? For example, yes. for example, for example. Hay que subirlo a la discusión eso. For example, my last weekend. Yo ya lo hice. Uh, on, si ya lo hizo, puede seguir en la otra actividad. On my last weekend, I went out to dinner to Tucson. I ate a steak. Okay, Jose David, please keep your microphone on silence. All right, guys, let's keep our microphone on silence, please, because we can hear everybody's interference. Okay. On my last weekend, I went out to dinner to Tucson. I ate steak and drank wine. I had a great time, right? Similar, similar to here. Any questions? Any questions? Yes, teacher. Hi, Carmen. Uh, my last weekend. You're gonna put my last weekend. Teacher, la, la pronunciación correcta de la palabra título en inglés. Title. Thank you. T title. Uh -huh. Another question. Are you ready? 
No. No yes. question. Okay. No. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go, everybody. Yeah, love somebody. Yeah, rock your body right tonight, tonight. Everybody, yeah. Andrea Mejivar, let's go. Andrea Mejivar, Veronica Mejivar, Veronica Mejivar, let's go, let's go. Rosa Vasquez, Rosa Vasquez, let's go. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, no entró a Karen Pero, Mulato, uh, eh, let's go. ¿Hasta qué fecha tenemos para trabajar en la plataforma? El próximo jueves. Um, Cuatro sí, días. Sí de la próxima semana. Eh, Rosa no entró a la sesión con su compañero. Eh, Rosa, usted está trabajando con Gerson, Verónica está trabajando con Carmen y Andrea está trabajando con Gabriela. Teacher. Hello. Yes. Eh, es que, le, que la, la vez pasada mi hermana le mandó un mensaje porque para ver si nosotros dos podíamos trabajar juntas porque cuando encendemos el micrófono como las dos estamos hablando entonces el compañero se confunde y así ah oh, ok ah pues trabajen juntas thank you okay thank you don't worry about it
All right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I'm, I'm finished, teacher, but I have a question for you. Yes, of course. Um, I went at the beach or I went to the beach? I went to the beach. Okay, thank you so much, teacher. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you need more time or is everybody finished? Okay, that means everybody's finished. That's good. Now we are going to move forward and we are going to look at the following activity. The activity that we just did was activity 4.16. Now we are moving on to the next section. By the end of this class, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the past of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar opciones, oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado. Son el, verso, el verbo ser. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. ¿Estamos listos todos? Yes. Yeah. Ok. Yes, we are ready. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, listen, teacher. listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U. With the past of statements using the past of B. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started. Now, let's look at the pronunciation. Repeat, where were you born, Melissa? Where, 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 where were you born, Melissa? Melissa? I was born in Korea. I was I born, was born, born in, Korea. in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. No, I came here in 1999. You were pretty young. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Yes, yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? Did you go to college right away? Did you? No, my English wasn't very good. No, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, 
your English is really good now. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Yeah, but I was born here. Le dice ella, ah, tu inglés es muy bueno también. Sí, pero yo nací aquí. Sí, pero yo nací aquí, o sea. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, do you have any questions related to this uh, pronunciation, guys, or the meaning of the words? Questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes? teacher. Yes, Carlos. Eh, sencillamente cuando usted mostró la le dio play a la conversación uh -huh. porque parece que en la primera línea en la última parece como que se saltaran una palabra porque le se lee con, bueno escuché que dijeron un solo where you born Melissa y hay dos veces que dice where y where otra vez uh, where, uh, where, where were you where, sí ajá uh -huh. hacen un solo sonido como lo dicen rápido where were you where, where were you, you? Where were you? Ajá. No, se, no es muy pronunciado. Ya. Ya. Where you say, I was born. I was born here. I was born here. I was born here. Ajá, lo dice muy rápido, por eso no se escucha. Ok, let's practice teacher, teacher. five times. Yes, Roberto. What's meaning right away? Right away, de inmediato. Right away, oh. de inmediato. Right away. Y en sí, ¿qué significan esto del was y el were? Solo son para, como para, sabemos que han pasado, pero para saber yes. cómo nacieron o algo así. Solo sí. es eso. No, no. El was y el were, eh, primeramente entendemos que es un verbo, nosotros le decimos un verbo pasivo. Es mm -hmm. a static verb. Right. Hay, dos tipo, hay dos tipos de verbos. Está el verbo que es static y está el verbo que es dynamic. Ok. El verbo static es el verbo to be. Be, is, was, eh, were, eh, are, are, M, este es el verbo to be. The dynamic verbs are the verbs you can see. Por ejemplo, si tú dices eh, walk. Walk. Walk es un verbo que tú puedes ver. Walk. Por eso es dinámico, porque tú puedes ver a la persona caminando y moviéndose. Talk. Es un verbo dinámico. Eh, play. Cool. Tenemos ese concepto en el español también. Ah, ok. Solo que en el español hablamos de transitivos e intransitivos. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, ah, pues el inglés es igual. Por ejemplo, love es stative. Eh, like es stative. Eh, hate es stative. Right. So, los, los static verbs son los verbos que no se ven. Los dynamic verbs son los verbos que sí se ven. So, estamos viendo el verbo to be, que es was y were. Ahora, ella pregunta si el was y el were solamente se usa para decir a dónde naciste. Ya entendí. No o sea, que el verbo to be, el, el was y el were es como el verbo to be en pasado. Correcto. Ah. Por Solo ejemplo, que, si... teacher, uh -huh. bueno, en el video que aparecía ahí, eh, daba la explicación de que el was eh, se, se implementaba en, el, en las personas I, he, she, it. Uh -huh. Y para you, we y they se utilizaba el were. Correcto, correcto. Y el uso es el mismo. Por ejemplo, tú dices... Yo nací, yo nací, I was born in 
El Salvador. Salvador. Pero si yo estoy usando el you, voy a decir you were, were born in El Salvador. Salvador. Ok. I have a question. ¿Cuándo yeah. saber usar el is y el in? El is y el in. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. El is es el mismo verbo to be, pero en el simple pero... presente, pero en tercera persona. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, él es Roberto. He is Roberto. Él es mi alumno. He is my student. Él es inteligente. He is intelligent. Right? So, el is lo puedes usar para describir a la persona. Ok. Mm -hmm. Vaya, ahora si usamos, por ejemplo, eh, tú decís, yo era, yo era doctor. I was a doctor. Yo era doctor. I was a doctor. Él era doctor. He was a doctor. Tú eras doctor. You were a doctor. All right. So también se utiliza como para escribir la profesión. No solamente donde nació. O tú dices, yo era feliz. I was happy. Yo estaba cansado. I was tired. Uh -huh. So, el verbo to be no solamente es para es describir eh, donde naciste. Sí, obviamente, sí. Where were you born? I was born. Pero también tiene diferentes funciones. Another question. Era, estaba, estuve. Si quieres hacer cuestión. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, digamos, I can say I have 20, 20 years o I, I am. I am. Years. I am. Si estás diciendo am. tu edad, ajá. Uh -huh. Si vas a decir tu edad, no vas a decir have. Porque have es para una posesión. Por ejemplo, tú dices... Es que, es que yo escuché que alguien dijo, I have tantos años. I have, uh, I have a car. Tengo un carro. I have a laptop. Tengo una laptop. I have a job. Tengo trabajo. I have a job. Ok, pero si estás hablando de ti, de tu edad, tú vas a decir, I am. I am. ¿Cuántos años tiene Saúl? 23. I am 23. O puedes decir, I am 23 years old. Pero no, I am 23 years. Esa ya no es aceptable. I am, porque en oh. español nosotros decimos, yo tengo 23 años. años. So, la gente dice, años, years. Pero está incorrecto. I am 23 years. Eso allí es incorrecto. Eh, guys, tenemos que salir del, del tunnel vision. ¿Saben qué quiere decir tunnel vision? No. Ok. Tunnel es túnel. Y vision es visión. Ok. Tunnel... Vision. Quiere decir que solo ves lo que sabes. Tenemos que salir de esa caja porque el inglés no se puede traducir al español. Ok, yo soy, de, yo soy traductor. Ok, yo soy traductor certificado. A mí me pagan por traducir documentos de toda clase. Y no puedes traducir el inglés al español y el español al inglés y desear y esperar que encaje igualito al inglés. 
¿Por qué? Porque es un lenguaje completamente diferente al español. Las raíces del inglés vienen del alemán y el francés. So estamos hablando nada que ver con el español. ¿Ok? So, cuando usted esté aprendiendo inglés, usted no puede decir, pero en inglés, pero en español yo lo digo así. Ok, pero it, it, it's a totally different language. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo ahorita, yo te digo, por ejemplo, eh, dime, pregúntame, Robert, what's up? Pregúntame, what's up? What's up, teacher? Oh, all good. Life is good. Got a good job. Got financial stability, healthy, family, love. Everything is good. Right? Pero él no me preguntó a mí, how are you? Él me dijo, what's up? Right? Literalmente, si, si, yo lo Ajá, si yo lo traduzco a español, la pregunta sería, ¿qué está arriba? Está el techo, la luz, están unos cables, right? las estrellas. Si yo lo quiero traducir literalmente al español, no encaja. Ahora le estaba enseñando a un alumno de un nivel avanzado el uso de wish, el deseo. I wish, yo deseo, como un deseo. Es algo fantasy. Uh, yo deseo ser Naib Bukele. I wish I were Naib Bukele. <laughs> yeah. Pero, pero ella no entendía el por qué yo estaba usando el I wish, el verbo wish en simple present, y después el otro verbo were. Me dice, teacher, no tiene sentido si la oración eh, la tuve que explicar. Right? Que hay conceptos en inglés que no existen en español. Y ahí es donde nosotros tenemos que quitar este tunnel vision. Right? Español, acá. Ver el inglés open-minded. Ok. Ok. All right. Vamos Thank a, you. bueno, nos quedan cuatro. Thank you're, you. you're welcome. Nos quedan cuatro minutos. Quiero que practiquemos la conversación. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Carlos, Andrea, bueno, Andrea y, y Verónica se pueden quedar. Gabriela, let's go. Paola, let's go. Rosa, let's go. Gerson, let's go. Gerson, let's go. Gerson, Gerson, Gerson. Was Paola and Gabriel. <laughs> okay. Where were you born, Gabriela? The answer, <laughs> Gabriela. <laughs> bueno, continuo. I was born in Korea. Oh. So you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 90, ¿cómo se menciona? Perdón, I'm 90, 99? 99. 99. 1999. 99. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you were very young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English was very good. So I took English class for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. 
Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay. Si quiere cambiemos. Okay. <laughs> Where were you born? Uh, Carmen? <laughs> I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. 1999. <laughs> mm, you were Okay, guys, is everybody finished? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. It's nine o'clock. Ya son las nueve. Tengo que empezar la próxima clase, guys. Teacher, when uh -huh. we're when we when we going to finish this model? Uh, next Thursday. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Pueden avanzar en la sección 5 y pueden avanzar en el final exam. Ok. All right, guys. Have a good weekend. Thank, Thank you so much. You. I love you, you all. Bye. 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 See you have Monday. Bye, teacher. Take care. You too. Have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Enjoy. Bye.